All right, this next match review comes to us from uh, Tove, over the fifth, uh, who has 630 hours, so not quite at that zone where you probably have all of your fundamentals for both macro and micro pressure down pat, which is totally fine. You were getting there for sure, Zeets. Uh, you are playing Pinhead, which is a fairly solid killer. Uh, uh, mid to high B, low A tier character, kind of like that Xenomorph zone. Um, also kind of weirdly good person to ask, because I mod for Field Agent Reaper, who is probably the best Pinhead player in the community. Very, very good. Very, very excellent. Uh, so... A lot of first hand uh not hands on but like first hand or like I'm, i got the knowledge essentially is what i'm trying to say you're on thompson house though which is a very very uh not really a killer side of the map it's a fairly long map um and the main building can be kind of windy but an easy place to waste time obviously really strong with balance landing and uh cow tree shack this entire right side of the map is just like one continuous loop as well it's just a lot that could go wrong on thompson house Let's take a look at your own super perks. Okay, so you're using Eerie Box and Impaling Wire. Eerie Box is, like Impaling Wire, first off, good pick. Uh, Eerie Box is kind of like, it's all right. It's kind of one where it's like, I feel like you have to, it just kind of like naturally does its thing in the background, but I don't feel like it's like a bad, I don't know. I just feel like I would rather use something else. Does that make sense? All right, so other options. Uh, I don't think Eerie, by the way, I want to say this. Eerie Box isn't bad, especially if you build a build around it. It's really good. I just, I don't know, I feel like, I would love something like Frank's Heart or like Larry's Remains where you can actually like interrupt box solves and stuff like that to keep the chain hunt going because the chain hunt is like your macro pressure. Um, obviously, NG Fang's just busted and stupid, <laughs> but like, yeah, um, build your build. Uh, lethal, I'm all yours. Um, I feel like I'm all yours on Pinhead. Could be wrong. You need to consult the Reaper. Um, if, it's a, if it's a character like Pyramid Head where you can actually get the hit, or nurse, for example, that makes sense to me. But with Pinhead, all you do is just get the uh, the chain, which I guess helps, but it's like, it doesn't feel like a bad pick, just like an underwhelming pick. Um, lethal obviously works with that. Honestly, honestly, if you're using lethal, might as well throw on Greasy Lens, right? Greasy Lens is pretty good. You're reading one for Pinhead? She's Greasy Lens, that'd be cool. Uh, pain res, great. Uh, Plaything kind of feels like the odd man out here. Like, Plaything is just like, Free oblivious or free slowdown, so like it's not a bad pick, but maybe like an actual slowdown here, perhaps, or something else that suggests the rest of your build. You kind of she wasn't near anything, you could have just hit her. Like the windows on the the porch is on the other side. That'd be like her closest resource. Yeah, unfortunately you're not. See, like if you had like Frank's heart or Larry's remains, I don't know why he does that. You could have like, um, why are you carrying them away from the pain res? Why are you carrying them away from the pain res? Why are you doing that? Or the skirt truck rather. Yeah, you actively took him away from the skirt truck. Why did you do that? You only have one slowdown, and you're going to actively choose not to use it. That's really bizarre. I don't know why you did that. Anyways, what I was saying is the benefit of using Frank's Heart or, or Larry's Remains is that in that situation where she's solving that over by a cow tree, you just, like, down Bill, walk about, like, five meters, and you can actually, like, use a gateway, set a gateway that far, that you could actually interrupt that solve and then go start your chain hunt. That's why those add-ons are really, really good. But they do require some finesse and skill. So, like, you do have to get better at the character to get the most out of them, but still definitely worth it. I noticed you get a little lost there. If you're not sure where a survivor goes, think about, like, where, like, the resource is, right? Because this is just a hay bale. There's nothing there. She's not pathing towards a window or a pallet. Um, so, like... Think about where she was actually going, which is to the nearest resource, which is Jack. This isn't the perk. No. Saving pain resist early? Why would you say pain resist early? They're already, like, somebody's been working on main uncontested for a while, and there's another gen that's, like, halfway through that they walked by earlier. Why would they save pain here? Would it not be pertinent to play the game a little bit? Why would you not just hit her there? Speaking of finesse. <laughs> You're having a really long chase at Shaq really aren't in game, which is not ideal. She took that chase, she took that vault wider than F Ford F-150, holy moly. 
By the way, you can hit Bass Faults at a diagonal. You don't have to go, like, that wide to hit them. That's kind of silly. I notice you're not really trying at all to, like, look for the box. If you guys are unaware of how the box works, uh, it is... I think it's 40 meters around Pinhead and then 16 around the survivors that it cannot spawn. And then you search the negative space in between. That's how box logic works. I've noticed you've been trying to just play with your chains, or you're kind of, like, ignoring the box almost. Which is not ideal. You gotta use the... the you gotta use your uh, full kit. Almost. You've also been in this chase for an incredibly long period of time. You had a full chase at Shack. Now you're having a full cha chase at Cowtree. Hey, dude, Stinky, if you're asking how is, uh, how is this map survivor sided, you're seeing it right now. Going from Shack to... Going from Shack to Cowtree. It's a pretty... You need to leave this. That's weird. You've already... You are still over recommending this. I am very intrigued to see how just how long this chase is, because this feels extremely long. Honestly, they shouldn't have committed that long to Chase Shack, period. That was way too long of a time. I would throw up a Pain Rose here, yeah. You need some sort of pressure. So, from start to finish, 4.55. Oh, no. Oh, no. So it's over two minutes. So, yeah. About two and a half minutes? Two and a half minutes in Chase, huh? Ish. Give or take. Wow. You need to try and interrupt this box solve, or just teleport to it, I guess. So, if you are just going to, like, completely omit the chain hunt from your gameplay as Pinhead, you're essentially just a harder-to-pull-off clown. That's all you are. And if you're cool with that, that's okay, but if we're talking about, like, match reviews and consistency and getting the most out of your character, it is absolutely a huge waste of your kit to just not even at all attempt to find the box, not even attempt to interrupt box solving. Like, you are just omitting the strongest part of your kit, which is the chain hunt. And keeping up a chain hunt. I came. If you want to be a mech clown, be a mech clown, you know? But in that case, if you're not going to take advantage of the chain hunt, I would just tell you to go play clown. It's that pinhead, which, you know, especially on controller, hitting those gateways and chains are way more difficult than just throwing a bottle that has, like, a cloud AoE, you know? You also put throw your chains so far back that, like, you don't really get to get a lot of value out of them. The whole point of chains or any sort of, like, trap killer, or trap killer, like, killer with something like that, like, clown that slows down the survivor, is that you're supposed to be preventing them from reaching the, the, uh, resource, whether it be pallet, window, etc. So the fact that you're just throwing it so far away means that they're able to break free and make the window or, or pallet anyways, as opposed to throwing it closer where it would actually prevent them. This is fine, because this is going to save you time kicking the pallet. I see Pinheads do this all the time, even Reaper doesn't. That's fine. But, like, overall, the main use of the chains is to... Please pick that up. Okay, you lost it. Okay. At two gens, a little late. But this is where the meat and potatoes of being really, really good at Pinhead is. Just keeping this chain hum up. This, the, the match essentially comes to a standstill, and if they're not on comms, rotating who's on the box is, like, not impossible, but extremely difficult. There's a reason this character is, like, infamously known as one of the more frustrating characters to face. Um, and being a pub stomper is because of this. You've also way over come into this chase as well. No option to get hit? That's not true. I don't, I don't agree with that, actually. Because she still would still have had enough time to, like 
run down and make it to that pallet. I think in general, it's going to have that, that pallet down, but I don't think, like, you, I think the situation you described there where they're forced to get hit there, I don't think that's true. Because she still would have made that pallet over there. Even if he, especially if they had taken the time to break in that. Uh, this is... Unless they make an egregious mistake, this isn't salvageable. To be honest. I like the use of this to check to see if anybody's up there. Too much distance? Yeah, so like, because the pallet specifically spawned right there, like, even if they took the time to, like, kick, uh, like, break that breakable wall, they wouldn't be, um, able to catch up in time. If they hit a good chain and slowed them down, yes. But that's not what ended up happening. Because the pal was essentially right next to, like, the, uh, the staircase to the, uh, porch. So it's like, unless they hit it, their chain there. Doesn't work. This is why I don't agree with the sentiment of, like, quote-unquote, saving your pain res. Because this is- you end up in this situation where you're, like, two gens, and there are people that you've actively downed that you don't have the pain res hooks on, and there's always the potential that those will just go unused once the match actually ends. It's just a huge risk to take. For, like, no reason. That was a good game. He has a med kit. He can't pick her up or anything. There's no reason to deal with this. Also, this is a minor thing that most uh, NF players don't do. When you're aiming your uh, your chains, aim low. If you aim low, um, if, even if the chain misses, it's going to collide with the ground immediately and save you time. Because if you if you miss while aiming high with the with the chains, the chains like travel off into thin air, and that that entire time Pinet's just stationary. He's just stuck that whole time, which gives the survivors more distance. But if you aim below and you miss, you basically get right back into the chase immediately. Just a minor thing to say, I should say. Reaper has a whole pinhead guide that's a really really good field agent, field agent Reaper on YouTube. Very, very excellent guide that teaches you all the basics you need to know to consistently be good. I think I would I would look at that. That'd be like my main homework for you. Main takeaway, re watch that video. Because it tells you about boss logic, how to capitalize on that, which is something you need to do. How to hit your chains better, which is something you can use help with. Like, there's a lot in there that would help you a lot in particular. I've been sitting down for too long. Yeah, unless they massively mess up here, this is like their game to lose. There's not much you can really do to circumvent this. Just hit him. There you go. Even if you don't end up continuing to go after him, like at the very least, that's time he has to spend healing. Okay, thank you. We'll map a re week later. That's why I like the having a doc guide instead of a video guide. Because if if something changes, like I just uh, I just added it, you know, <laughs> like and I just add it to the revision section, you know. It's not something I have to worry about. Would it still be a pain? Yeah, especially with formatting, but like. It's better than having to, like, film a whole new video or add a pin comment that nobody's going to read and be like, Ah, this changed. Did you know that? Even though they have to pass by the pin comment to go post their comment, they'll do it. The fact that she was solving that box, for, like, like within casting distance, and you don't do anything about it, like, you have a lot to learn about this character in particular. <laughs> Like, the fact that you don't attempt to interrupt here is a severe mistake. Well, not her up here, but, you know, to your right. 
But the fact that you could have sent that chain there and you just didn't. You're doing this to yourself. Yeah, the animation. And even the, the animation and sound design on, on Pinhead is very, very clean. He still has one of my favorite, like, gen kick animations in the game. The, the, just the, the chain thing. It's super cool. Yeah, bread. Mori, no! You're gonna take the time to go for a fancy Mori? Like, I said go for the Mori, but, like, you're gonna pick her up, carry her over here, and then do it? When you're at one gen? That's right, you're risky. Bye bye. I found in Brazil. Oh, I think nurse has my favorite wall break animation, even though you never see it. You just go through walls. Oh. It's like you would have made it there in time if you didn't carry her up to the hill to Moria. See, this is why I'm talking about, like, not saving your pain races, because they say if that was why they weren't doing it and they're saving their pain races, look, there's one just sitting there. You know what that pain race does now? Nothing. That's why I don't advise people to do that. I've always heard that throughout the DBD community of, like, saving your pain races. I've always vehemently disagreed with it for this exact reason. Good catch on this one. That's really hard on controller. Excuse me. Yeah, that's why I don't recommend sending your pain rebels. Somebody in the first 10 seconds? That is true. Because if you pay and res a gen before they even have enough of the damage to do flat damage to it, like, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Arwen. That is the one point I would I would make the exception. Because that point, like, you actually are getting the full damage amount. <laughs> Which is really funny. Okay. In terms of your main takeaways. That's so strong. Um, in terms of your main takeaways, um, first off, uh, first... Your first main takeaway is that you completely omit box logic from your gameplay, period. You do not search for the box, you do not try to interrupt the box. The The chain hunt is the most powerful part of Pinhead's kit. Like I said, while his chains are really, really good, at the end of the day, you're ultimately just a more complicated clown, and that's it. If you completely omit the chain hunt, you gotta, gotta learn box logic. You gotta learn how to keep a constant chain hunt because that is where the meat and potatoes of your pressure on this character is. If you omit that, you're just, just, just go play clown. <laughs> just go play the character that's easier with the vaguely similar power, which is up to you. If you don't want to learn pinhead, go play clown. <laughs> but if you, if you care about doing well on this killer, learn your box logic, watch the field agent reaper, uh, and head guide teaches you all about it um second you for some reason i don't know if it's because you're saving your scourge hooks or whatever which we just had a conversation about you do not actively go to get use out of pain rest, which when this is technically your only slowdown i don't know why you're actively avoiding going for scourge hooks that doesn't make sense to me you definitely should have got value of this especially since you ended up with one stack just completely unused that definitely could have pulled the game heavily inside your favor um yeah, um, there's a lot with just like the pure execution out of how your your chains went. Um, you were chaining people like really far away, which just allowed them to break out and reach whatever resource they were going towards. Keep in mind the the rationale beside behind uh, the chains or whatever um, like slowdown uh, ability a character has, like like uh, clowns bottles or something like that, is to slow down the survivor before they reach the resource so you can get the hit. So the fact that you were ca uh, casting your gateways and hitting people with chains like super far away meant that they were just reaching the resources anyways. Um, so make sure you're using that to beat people to resources instead of the other way around where you're just kind of like, okay, well, you're slower now. I'm just going to get stuck kicking this pallet anyways. Um, there's a lot of intricacies to like using the chains most effectively. Once again, 
deferring to field agent reapers uh kinetic guide will teach you all that stuff but those are the main three things that i saw that hurt you the most especially the chain on thing the chain on thing was especially when nia was solving it like within gateway casting distance that hurt a lot that could have helped you so much if you noticed by the way i'm gonna point this out the one chain that you got like slow down the game enough for you to turn this into a 3k the you only had one chain hunt and when you did it dynamically changes the game in your favor imagine if you had that going most of the match how well that game would have gone for you you're in the pudding <laughs> yeah i would focus on those three especially that first one